Hey, what's up guys? This is Jonathan at Bullion Exchanges. And um, today I'm going to show you part two uh, of the Sigma Metalytics Verifier videos that we've been making. Uh, part one is linked in the description, so you can check that out if you want. And uh, we're gonna answer some questions that we received on the last Sigma video and also clarify some information also. So basically how it works is that the Sigma, uh, it, it measures the resistivity of the metal. So gold and silver and platinum and palladium, they all have different uh, resistivities and electrical characteristics. So that's what the Sigma um, uh, tests basically. Um, it's not gonna damage your coins if you do it correctly. So basically the best way to do it is to gently place the wand onto the, onto the bullion or onto the coins and um, if you're not, you know, hitting it very hard or anything like that, then it's not going to scratch your coin. So, you know, the best thing to do is just be very, very careful when you're doing it. And it should give you a, a normal reading. Um, some people have asked if it's a mini XRF machine. Um, it's not. They work in very different ways. Um, so, like I said, this tests the resistivity of the metal. The XRF basically analyzes the chemical breakdown of what you put inside it. So, they're two different machines. Um, this is a little bit of a metal detector, I would say, but um, it has very specific settings uh, designated to it. So, you know, it tests for 90% silver, for 0.999 silver, um, for 22 karat gold, as well as pure gold. Um, so it tests different purities, preset purities, but um, most metal detectors, um, I don't believe, um, have that capability. Uh, this is just a basically uh, a, an easy and convenient way to test your, your bullion or your coins. Um, it can work with coins that are in capsules, um, but the best way to do it is just put, to put the coins directly onto the, uh, onto the machine or onto the wand, and it'll give you a reading. Um, so, uh, yeah, now we're going to test some coins and some bars, and uh, we'll see what that looks like. So the Sigma tests all different sizes of products. It tests down from one gram up to uh, 100 ounces or even more. Um, so now I'm going to show you how this thing works. So here's the power button. I'm just going to turn it on. I'm going to uh, insert a wand right here. Right there, you can see it says wand right there. It lights on. It means it detects the wand. And I'm going to hit the run cal button right now, as prompted on the screen. So now you can see that it's ready. It says place sample. So uh, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. As soon as I change the, uh, the metal, because you can see it's set to gold, I'm going to test some silver right now. So let me go ahead and test it. There we go. Silver, 0.9999. That's 4.9 silver. And I'm going to test some 4.9 silver right now with this 100 ounce uh, RCM bar. We have a lot of these uh, running at a very competitive price on our site right now. So if you want to um, uh, pick up one or two of these, go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm going to hit the run cal button right now, just like it says on the screen to start it. And it says place sample. So now I'm going to take the wand. I'm going to test it. And as you can see, the bar falls right in the brackets, right in between the brackets as it should. If it falls outside the brackets, then you know that the metal isn't exactly uh, testing correctly on the Sigma or that you uh, have some fake, uh, some fake metal. It's good to go all around the bar just because this is a large bar and, you know, parts of it might be sil silver, parts of it might be not. Uh, so it's good to just test as much as you can. But there you go. You can see that this tests uh, perfectly. And so now we'll move on to the next one. Here I've got an Italian 10 ounce bar. We have these on our site as well. Uh, we just got these in, some new product. So uh, please go ahead and um, Check this out on our site if you want to pick up this uh, Italian silver. And um, this is actually testing, you can see, on the 4.9 silver. Um, it, is, it does say 3.9s, but very often 3.9 um, silver can be even purer than 3.9s. They just guarantee it to be at least 3.9s. So I'll change it to the 3.9 setting now. And you can see that it tests just fine on that as well. This is the 10 ounce bar I've got here. And I'm gonna test the kilo now. Kilo version of the Italian bar, also three nines. And the bar is falling right inside the brackets, just fine.
All right, now we'll test a couple of coins. Uh, we did the bars. Now let's uh, look at some of these some of these coins. I got some Britannias here, some silver Britannias, 2021, fresh out of the tube. So let me take one out, and you can see that the Sigma is all queued up, uh, three nines, and it says place sample. So that's what I'll do. Place it on right there, and you can see that it's. Uh, falls right inside the brackets, perfectly fine. I'm not using a wand because this is big enough just to place directly on the target on the Sigma and it detects it just fine, you can see. So um, that's how that works. And now I'm going to take some junk silver here. Got some Washington quarters. Got a lot of these on our site as well currently right now at very competitive prices. So um, this is a little bit too small to place directly on here. Um, first, I have to change the setting to 90% silver. 90% silver, there we go. It's a little bit too small. It you know, might work, might not. You know, there you go. It falls just inside the brackets. But the best thing, best thing to do with this is to actually use the wand. The wands provide the, a much smaller target that you can, uh, that you can test with. So I'm going to insert the wand. I'm going to hit run cow. And it says place sample. I'm going to place the sample. And that gives me uh, a good reading right there. It can fall, again, this coin uh, falls just inside the brackets, which is fine. And I'll test a couple more. This one is also inside the brackets, more in the center. So that was uh, silver, and now we're going to move on to testing some gold. All right, now I'm going to test some gold products. So let me turn the Sigma on. So right now I'm going to test a uh, one ounce gold Fortuna bar, as you can see in its packaging. Um, last time we tested um, Credit Swiss bars, that was in our other video, linked in the description, so you can go check that out if you'd like. But for right now I'm just going to hit the Run Cal button and throw this right on there. It's three nines plus, this bar is, is four nines, and you can see we get it uh, an instant reading. The bar falls right within the brackets really no question there and looks fine so that is that that's the one ounce gold fortuna bar now i'm going to move on to the 10 ounce volcami bar you can see it's in its original uh packaging i'm going to take it out of there just because you want to be absolutely sure that you're getting a good reading on it so i'm going to place it directly on the sigma and um with these bars uh you know you want to be very careful because it does have a proof finish on it and you want to be very careful not to scratch it or anything like that. So I'm going to be very careful and place it directly on here. And again, we get an instant reading right there. Move it side to side. You can see the whole thing reads as just fine right inside the brackets. The best thing to do with these, actually, since they're so thick, is to uh, actually use a wand. So I'm going to take the bullion wand, the thickest one, and I'm going to plug it in. Got to hit that run cal button again. And it's ready to go. So I'm just going to place the wand on the bar very carefully, not to scratch it. And you can see that it tests just fine right inside the brackets instantly. So that is the 10 ounce Volcombi bar. Now I'm going to move on and show you uh, the coins that we have. Um, so uh, last time in our last video, we tested um, one ounce gold Krugerrands at 0.9167 purity. Uh, this time I'm going to test uh, these pure gold Britannias. It's four nines fine. So I'm going to take this out of the tube very carefully. And it's on the gold setting. I'm going to hit run cow here and it says place sample. So that's what I'll do. And you can see it gives an instant reading right between the brackets. And just flip that over. It gives a perfect reading right there, so there's no question. And that is a one ounce gold Britannia. Now I'm going to test a, uh, a sovereign coin. This is uh, uh, an old British gold coin. And um, this is uh, actually 22 karat purity. So we have to put this on the correct setting on the Sigma. And um, this is a little too small for the, for the target. So I'm actually gonna use a wand for this. So I'm going to take the small wand here and insert it, hit the run cow button, and set this to the correct 22 karat setting. There it is. 
and it's ready for the sample. So let me just test it. There you go. It falls right in between the brackets. So you can see that this is uh, the correct uh, purity of gold, according to the Sigma. Now, uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is that this tests for the correct purity of gold. However, there are fakes out there that are made with the correct purity of gold. So, um, you know, it's made of real gold and it weighs the, the correct uh, weight. So there's the correct amount of gold in it, but uh, it might still be an, uh, a, not a genuine um, you know, coin. It might be made by a counterfeiter. Um, so that's kind of something that you want to get checked out by a professional numismatist maybe at your local coin shop, um, or you should just buy from uh, a source that you, that you, that you really trust um, that these things are real. Um, however, uh, the Sigma, that said, the Sigma is good for testing uh, whether or not it's the correct purity of gold. So that's what this is doing right now. And lastly, to answer questions about gold plating, um, this, that would not test correctly on the Sigma because um, uh, the Sigma should test through the plating and uh, it would show that um, it's not the correct purity of gold. So that's what the bar would fall uh, outside the brackets for that. We don't recommend using this to test um, any sort of jewelry or uh, antique silver, um, just because usually those are in weird shapes. You know, they're an odd shape. They're not like, you know, flat, like a coin or a bar that you can just, you know, put directly onto the Sigma or test with a flat wand. Um, so uh, it might not give you a correct reading, and um, also the Sigma usually doesn't have the, um, the settings that are required for, you know, a 14 karat or an 18 karat um, uh, gold jewelry piece. So um, that's something that you would want to take to your local coin shop and um, get it tested a different way. Um, people have asked also how often we, we restock. We restock all the time on our website. So um, if you don't see something, then check back. But uh, what you could also do is just go to the specific product you want and there's a notify me button on that product when it's out of stock. You click the notify me button and you enter your email and we send you an email as soon as we restock. As soon as it comes in stock, you get an email and you're notified. Um, so we've got products like, you know, 10 ounce Goldwell combis, one ounce uh, uh, Pamp Fortunas, 100 ounce RCM uh, silver bars like you saw in this video. Uh, we've, we've got all of it. So um, please check out our website and uh, thank you for watching.